I am Dr. Mittal. I am a consultant cardiothoracic and vascular surgery at Max Super Specialty Hospital, Shalimar Bagh. And uh, we at Shalimar Bagh are performing all, kind, all kinds of heart surgery, including CABGs, on pump, off pump, heart valve replacements, congenital heart surgeries, all gamut. I have been trained at All India Institute of Medical Sciences and in trained in both adult and pediatric surgeries. My areas of interest, exper interest and expertise are congenital heart surgeries and valvular repairs. And also I have been specially trained in and uh, involved in creating a new technique of minimally invasive surgery or using left thoracotomy, mini thoracotomy incision and harvesting both internal memory arteries from the same incision and performing bypass surgery from the same incision. Coronary artery bypass grafting or CABG is performed for people having coronary artery blockages. So, why CABG is preferred than angioplasty? CABG, as all the studies have been shown and well proven fact, CABG prolongs the lifespan of the individual, while stenting only gives you the symptomatic relief. So, stenting is a preferred technique if the person has got an MI and it is performed as a primary angioplasty. Otherwise, the specific subsets patient is having triple vessel disease, is having severe LV dysfunction, proximal LV disease, then the CABG is preferred because CABG is shown to improve the lifespan of the individual. So there are four valves in the heart. So all of these valves can be affected by a disease. But most commonly affected valves are the left side of the uh, valves of the left side of the heart. These are the mitral valve and the aortic valve. In India, the most common cause is the rheumatic heart disease. So as you all know, people in childhood a person can have repeated respiratory tract infection. That is a risk factor for having rheumatic heart disease. So a person having rheumatic heart disease have the effect in the heart valves. So it causes fibrosis of the heart valve and later on the valve gets leaked or it gets stenotic. So proper blood flow doesn't go and it affects the function of the heart. The heart function decreases and pers persons start having symptoms of shortness of breath chest pain or swelling in the body so all such sort of symptoms happen in a patient. <laughs>